Hey guys, welcome to the live show. This is video live stream number four. It's 11.42 here in South Africa. So here we go. We're going to be reviewing a whole bunch of books, as you can see, talking about technology. So let's just get the show started and get the lights switch on. So if you watched the videos earlier on, you would have seen that I already reviewed all these books. You can go out and check them out. It's pretty fun. It's pretty cool. Uh, all these interesting things, but let's get to the main show. Bum, 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 bum. So what I've got to do is I can't play any of the music from the internet as much as I love all those different tracks. But the first video that I did, YouTube already copyright muted it because uh, I was playing other things. So here we go. Let's see something live. Interesting. Have a bit of uh, motivation and a bit of water. Okay. get to this episode so these are the books that I bought today so let's get into the first one design what does this say this is design school wisdom make first stay awake and other essential lessons for work in life okay as you can see Design School Wisdom. This book is on sale for 134. I paid only 34. Rand. So, what is it all about? The fold index says, "Always be learning." Okay, you went immense, uh, immense yourself in the wisdom that design teaches. Students and gurus have gleaned from years of experience on the job, in the classroom, and beyond. Mem memorable thought-provoking essays. And insightful interviews are gathered here from today's leading designer. On everything from trusting your instincts to nurturing your curiosity, staying inspired to mastering typography, the lessons inside this book are a guide to life design and innumerable ways the two intertwine. And as much as this book is going to be in our library, you have the internet now that gives you that, that ability to engage and uh, find out all that content that you need. So search design. So let's have a look. Always be learning. Yeah? A, A, B, C, always be closing. A, B, L, always be learning. That was said by Charles Nix of the Parsons, the new school for design. So a lot of quotes in this book, uh, as well as a lot of ex explanations and interviews by people. Uh, some of the quotes here are processing. Processes are more interesting than ideas. The point being to not stare at the ceiling, hoping for divine intervention. That's it, guys. So don't just talk about it and pray only, but execute that action plan. And this is what I'm doing. I pray a lot as well, but uh, this is the videos that I'm using to share with you. So yeah, method is more important than style. Style is fast and dies young. Oh, style dies die young. I just want to be like the cool kids. All the cool kids, they seem to fit in. We're in the business of inspiring and fostering, not persuading. That's Amber. Howard, North Carolina State University, the College of Design. College of Design, nice one, nice one. So keep it up, guys. Uh, determination is often more important than talent. That is so true. We, by persevering to do this video, we're trying to be quite determined, even though we have very little followers in here. So this light is like seriously blinding me. So it's fine. You can uh, see everything more clearly. I can see clearly now the rain is gone. When in doubt, Edit it out. Bruh, this is live stream right now. So we're definitely going to be editing things out of here. Of course, there are takes that we wouldn't want. So smaller videos will be sharing that information. Um, hope you enjoy. That's the first book. And we'll add it to this list down here. Okay. Ah, uh, the next book. Simon Rella. Fashionisto. Hmm? Hmm? A Century of Style Icons. It looked like a classic book to buy. It was James Dean on the cover. So it says on the inside leaflet that a century of style icons brings together the key trendsetters of the fashion world. From Giorgio Armani, George Clooney, and James Dean to Michael Jackson, Karl Lagerfeld, and the Sex Pistols. Each fashion hero is portrayed in spot on text, his fashionable flair explained and lavishly illustrated. 
This informative survey presents not only inspiration for one's wardrobe, but also offers a feast for the senses. So this is going to be pretty fun. Ha, I see my man Cobain here, keeping it real, the rebels. Hey, look at Johnny Cash. There's a man on around, take a name. And the man comes around. Dun, 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 dun. Falco. Hey, look at this guy. El Zorro. I have never heard of you, but I will research you. Uh, wherever you're from. Ah, oh, let's not forget the man who burnt the guitar. Legend, the Jimmy, the Hendrix. The man of the classics. Hey, you might probably want to have moves like Jagger. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Giorgio Armani, Giorgio, Giorgio, my name is Giorgio. That's Mr. Armani himself. Okay, and we take it back even to some days even prior to that. Okay, people born with this, the looks, and then there are those with uh, the passions, mm -hmm. the brands, the extraterrestrials, eh? Look at that. Who is that in the center? That was Presley. Considered to be an extraterrestrial, a new nation, a new man for a time to come. Ziggy Stardust comes in here. Ready? Waltz Collins, Bootsy Collins. Oh, the man, the legend. Mr. Michael Jackson. I believe the children of the future. Yeah, these iconic phases of his poses. And then they have the biographies of other people. So, very interesting. Uh, that's what you got to search. How about you make your list of all the interesting, iconic people that inspired your life? Uh, that should be pretty interesting. So what I also did is I purchased a whole bunch of different cookbooks as well in between because you know, food, 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 it's uh, without food, uh, makes uh, Johnny a bit of a dull boy. So Itsu uh, looks a bit like 100 low calorie eat beautiful recipes for health and happiness. Itsu, it's Itsu. Price of this book was 95 Rand, but we paid 35 Rand for it. A bit of sushi at the back. So let's have a look at what it has to offer inside here. Itsu is a down to earth guide to cooking and eating the Itsu way. With its many benefits to health, weight loss and improved energy levels, there are 100 Asian inspired recipes for soups, salads, noodles, dishes, and sushi, as well as favorites such as teriyaki dishes, brown rice, and iced teas. Mm. Under 300 calorie dishes. Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. Oh wow. Okay. We will have a chef on the show, hopefully. Okay. Mini Thai pork burgers. Okay. Okay. This video is not for everyone. Itsu, okay, give it a try, cool. So the other thing with technology, there's everyone out there on YouTube that's sharing videos and recipes and ideas and concepts and they might have small followings to large extents. That's where the new books are. That's where the new people you can engage are on. So that's where you can go online and figure it out and uh, do something pretty interesting. <laughs> la, 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 la. So what I want to do just for a quick sh short side second is what are books, okay? I'm going to take a quick five minute break so you can quickly just listen to the words of this video. I don't endorse this video, but... The I think we live in a very confusing world. It's full of noise, uh, images, busyness, very many different stimuli. And it's especially confusing for people who may find uh, words difficult to understand and uh, perhaps take longer uh, to digest information um, and to basically understand what's going on.
Okay, so I will be with you guys in a second. Just give me a minute. Books Beyond Words are picture books in colour uh, designed for people with learning disabilities and communication disabilities. Um, they're aimed at people who find words difficult and who may find pictures easier than words. And they're designed as a, a communication tool, um, as a way of um, helping people to understand things which might be difficult to understand in words for them. They are mainly used by people with learning disabilities, usually with a supporter, um, a friend, a relative, a professional. Books Beyond Words can really help a professional, uh, whether a health or criminal justice professional, to be able to communicate you, more uh, clearly and easily with somebody. With break, but it's uh, back to the video. Sorry, I haven't been wearing my eyes, uh, my eye drop, my glasses. So. My eyes are always getting a bit too blurry. So but soon I'll get my glasses back and until then, short-sighted with this video. The next book is called Global Tilt. This was, uh, a lot of people uh, were grabbing this, but uh, I saw it because beyond the point of it being a number one New York Times bestseller. So leading your business through the great economic power shift, all right? The technological age is here. People have been written about it. The last institutions of people out there writing about it. So. What does this book have to say? Clearly, there is a shift occurring. Okay? And get comfortable. You pay attention. There's a shift occurring and irreversible tilt of economic might from the traditional powerhouses of the global economy towards major new players. Flourishing businesses are emerging in countries as far apart as China and Brazil. They display as much knowledge, talent, and drive as their longer established rivals. At the same time, they're exhibiting innovative, locally developed skills that often challenge the norm. Many are poised to take the place on the world if they have not already done so. To survive, let alone thrive in this new, fiercely competitive and hugely diverse international arena, everyone needs to adapt. Business needs to seek broader horizons and embrace fresh strategies. They need to develop a profound understanding of the nature of the global landscape. With all its complexities and local variety, in other words, they need to tear up the old rule and write a new one. In Global Tilt, blah, 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 sets out the principles that will inform that new rule book. It shows how organizations can rise to the challenge that the global economy poses and thrives as a consequence. It demonstrates how the, those that fail to transform themselves will fall by the wayside, and he urges convincingly that even if these are challenging times, they're also rich in potential for those who can develop the right mindset. All right, the right mindset is technology. We as Hashtag South Africa, the past five years have been advocating and profusely, continuously advising South Africans the importance of technology. And for the short space of time that we will be here, we will do so, but we will not be here for too long because the global market is growing. So that's the author right there. This is his tribute um, for his message so that his book uh, can be remembered on the digital areas of technology. So let me tell you why I'm also doing these videos. Uh, hashtag South Africa is expanding. Uh, live streams need to be shared. Purchasing these books is to show you that we have history of this world. And history needs to be transferred and continued. And we will continue by sharing on these videos all the great things that happen around our Earth. Um, I guess you can see it as the great adventure from the Southern Hemisphere. Besides that, it could just be the great adventure of just me, Conrad, man. Just that one person, just Conrad. Beyond this business, it's just me, this man. Uh, there's no man, no one's paying me to do this. I started this business with 100 bucks. This is passion. This is me uh, leaving my legacy on. Um, and what's come to us, hey, I guess my family one day, my children will have my videos. Me in my younger days. That's right, that's right. I still look the same in my old age. Cool. So. Global Tilt, we'll definitely give that a read. Probably look at how we can look at action strategies, guys. Every economy and a system uh, that ever collapsed, industrial revolution, uh, people benefited based on the new environment. So remember, Google started the garage before that industrial revolution when people didn't really understand what is going on. A century or two later, those institutions were gone and re erased. But if we look at it and fast forward until today, it's something like Uber that blew up in LA. 
a matter of weeks, people are out of business. So guys, things are moving pretty fast. If you would have to think so and see, then you would know that the technological age is expanding. And the global toll is just one of the many stories of all these fine books we have to share. So let's move on. Ah, ah. Oh. This book got me so excited because look at that. Look at that cover. Okay, if I have to take out this little binder at the bottom, just have that on the shelf. I know that this book is talking about nighttime. All right, this is called The Night School. Wake up to the power of sleep. Now, after this, all these live streams that I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be done and I'm going to be resting. Okay, my birthday was last week. I'm going to get caught up in this life as well. I've got to also build up my energy. So, I haven't read this book as yet. I know Adriana Huffington recently gave a I talk about the sleep revolution on Gary Vaynerchuk's YouTube channel. You can probably check that out as well. But let's read what this has to say. Okay. Also, also I was like, hello, I'm Marlene. No, I've been such a sad face, bro. Almost a third of your life is spent asleep. Duh, I should have been dreaming right now. Night School uncovers the scientific truth about the sleeping brain and gives powerful tips on how those hours of apparently dead time in the dark can transform your waking life. Based on exciting new peer-reviewed research, mass participation experiments, and the world's largest archive of dream reports. Man, dream reports? Yeah, I'll sign me up, sign me up, sign me up, sign me up. Learn information and solve problems while you sleep. Find out what your dreams really mean. Unlock the creative power of the six-minute nap. Please. I can, I can even do it a three minute nap, okay? I need to learn how to take a six minute nap. Discover the secrets of super sleepers and get the best night's sleep of your life. Studies show that even a small lack of sleep can have a determined effect on your health, lifespan, and happiness, okay? Wiseman authoritative entertaining book introduces the powerful new science of sleep and gives us back the missing third of our days. Welcome to night school. Welcome to night school. Oh. So this book looks very interesting. I gotta check it out. I'll also do some research. What is it selling for? 111 Rand. One one one. You can even read that upside down if you wanna. But I paid 35 bucks for the book. It's pretty awesome. So opening chapters is how to be happy. Uh, the secret of the super sleep. What else is there? The assignment. Oh you gotta do, you can't just read, you gotta do sleep learning and power naps. A dream therapy, okay. Another assignment: sweet dreams, time for bed, notes and uh, appendixes, and a final word from the author. Richard Wiseman holds Britain's only professorship in the public understanding of psychology at the University of Hertfordshire. Hertfordshire. His research into a range of topics, including luck, self-help, deception, and persuasion, has been published in the world's leading academic journals while his psychology-based YouTube videos have received over 150 million views around the world. Why are you on YouTube? Why are you on YouTube? Hot up. Nice one. So we're going to be copying, copying all these video reviews that we've done, make them into shorter videos, and we'll share them back with them. But guys, night school, the importance of sleep. Understand it. You know, and now that we have the technological revolution, we need to push a lot of hours because we have not many skilled people to execute the tasks at hand. But in the hours that we'll put ahead, in the people that we will look to employ around the world, it's been done all over the show. We need to start by having nap pods. Have nap pods at the office. You know, ensure food, basic foods in place. Uh, have reminders. Every person needs to psychologically understand their mind. You're not that normal nine to five, sit in the classroom, write the same test. Everyone is an individual. We have this understanding of we are individuals out there. So do what you need to do and get part of this whole communication. Um, night school, I'm definitely going to enjoy this one. So, I hope you guys have been enjoying so far. Like I have been saying, if I haven't, if you just fast forward it onto this YouTube channel. I'm doing a live stream of all these books that I purchased, over 50 books. Uh, each book is given a review, and I'm talking about technology and the importance of it uh, and why we need to continue uh, the history of the work that we write these days. So this is an informative uh, 
vlog guys i hope you enjoyed it i just also want maybe want to see if this link is actually if it has been shared elsewhere uh, what we did is I, I added on my home page an actual youtube video of a live stream let's see if the new one is actually showing up on our home page no it's not that's fine this one we'll start another one uh, and add it to the channel a bit later on in the meantime, in the meantime, we'll share it on Tweet Deck, on our Twitter, on our Facebook, so the world, so the world can hear us. Na, 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 na. I hope you guys are having fun so far. This is Conrad Travis David coming from South Africa live on the live stream. Reviewing 50 books right now. I'm talking hashtag technology. Join me. Join me. All of my friends be friends. Don't have any friends anymore. That's why I do these videos. I guess you know for every person there's always different calling I've come to the understanding these are the things that need to be done so uh you gotta share this message share it with the world so that they can listen and get with the program This is hashtag social media because this is social media, bro. This is it right now. All of my friends be friends. Let's open the link on our channel to see if it actually is working. We actually are on the live stream. Social media, bro. This is it right now. What was it like? All of my friends, be friends. Let's open the link on our channel to see if it actually is working. We actually are on the live stream. So we are on this page right now. Okay, that's pretty cool. Sorry, um, I apologize about that. So, oh. H2O. What is good in South Africa? Straight from the taps. So, next up, what do we have? 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 So this one's called Girl in the Kitchen. How a top chef cooks things, shops, eats and drinks. Oh, oh c'est la vie, c'est la vie. By Stephanie is Zard. Huh? It's a happy person, is she? It's like, oh, I want to make so much of money from this book. Oh my God, look at that smile. <laughs> well, if you haven't heard of the book, well, this is it on the YouTube, on the internet. Let's read what they have to say. Let me show you some pictures. Okay, it's a hundred killer recipes uh, from Chicago's favorite girl in the kitchen. Hello, Chicago. I like what's at the bottom because it's quite a lot to read. So be creative, feel inspired. This is how Stephanie cooks. See, everyone's always trying to leave their message of what they do uh, behind. Quite a nice interior because this is what it's going to look like in a hundred years. Still on your shelf. Uh, so let's have a look. Chapter three, salads, salads, asparagus, goat cheese, and something else. This looks like something pretty cool, huh? So. Pan roasted New York steaks with sorted cucumbers and salted gold milk caramel. Okay, let's say that again. Pan roasted New York steaks with sauteed cucumbers and salted goat milk caramel. Okay, so it comes with quite a lot of interesting recipes. I'll read this one out for you so that you can go home and make this for your husband or your wife or the girl that you have or just for your mom and dad, you know? So salted goat milk and caramel, you need one quarter goat milk, half a cup of sugar, quarter teaspoon of baking soda, one tablespoon fish sauce, Two tablespoons sambal, see ingredient spotlight, page 47. Spotlight 47, 
one teaspoon balsamic vinegar, one teaspoon soy sauce, one teaspoon Dijon mayonnaise, salt, freshly grounded back black pepper, and then you want to pan roast New York strip steak. So you take three tablespoons of olive oil, three garlic cloves minced, one tablespoon of grainy mustard, one and a half tablespoons of samples, four New York strip steaks, about 12 ounces each, salt. Now, you can get any steak you want, all right? It can be South African steak, it can be ostrich, it can be whatever, you know, uh, wherever you are in the world. Freshly ground up black pepper, one tablespoon canola oil, one tablespoon butter, and then you want to saute cucumbers. So two tablespoons of olive oil, one 12 inch English cucumber slice into one eighth inch rounds, salt, freshly ground up black pepper, one tablespoon thinly sliced fresh basil. Okay, so that's a one, two, three different dish recipe on how to make pan roasted New York styles with sauteed cucumber steaks. Uh, it just goes on and on how to attack the pan and stuff like that. But guys, I'm not going to explain this to you. Uh, it's on here, so pause the video. Cool. You did not hear that from here. Building up my office library. That's what we're doing right about now. So every book that we share. Cooking, like I said, videos are on YouTube. People are writing. Why don't you share your own recipes online? Share those messages with the world. You know, some of a simple soup. Show me, you know, make something. Uh, do you make some special sauteed cornflakes? Whatever you may be, the world is still young with the internet. Create, create, create. Share, share, share. This is what we're doing. So the next book is Develop Your Assertiveness. Dom, dom, dom! Exclamation mark. Creating success. So don't worry about that one. The next course, that's going to be the last one. Just left it there for you guys to uh, admire and hide all the other books from the next season. Oh, what's that? What's that? What's that? Huh? Hola, por favor. Hey. So develop your set of this third edition. Okay, okay. Offers simple techniques that will help you become more aware of your strengths. Okay, I am quite a strong man, yes. I'm quite a strong man, yeah. Offers simple techniques that will help you become more aware of your strengths and weaknesses so that you can learn how best to modify your behavior in social and business interactions. Being more confident and learning how best to communicate with your colleagues will enable you to create win win solution situations, thus improving your career prospects and enhancing your social life. Okay, packed with examples and exercises, the essential guide covers topics such as the importance of choice of behavior, okay, tension control, self-awareness and self-esteem, relationships, making and refusing requests, dealing with problem people, tricky situations, and assertiveness online. So notice that last point about assertiveness online. Let's forget that just the word online. It just shows you that the transcendence from literature has been already begun to video. So this is us sharing some of that with you. Uh, in the book has a lot of exercises, relationships, something cool, you probably wanna check that out. But most importantly guys, have global community communications with people already. Get the live psychologists and people from all parts of the world, sit on a panel, on a video, wherever they may be. This is the transcendent time where we need to share and document this information. This is not just for us, this is not just for Mars, this is just for the future of our generation. Our videos are gonna be meant or something it's going to be those new institutional pillars on society so uh yeah as you can see 24-hour office people are still mission around doing work behind me but let's get back develop your assertiveness how assertive were you were uh, to see a few minutes ago that someone pretty much walked by right there dum 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 this is real life this is actually just happening right now we don't even plan people to walk past it just happens Okay, so because it was 1986 uh, born, I was watching pretty cool videos, you'll probably see on our YouTube channel about the 80s. So this is 50 fashion looks that changed the 1980s, huh? Dinch. Damn. 50 fashion looks that changed the 1980s, explore 50 iconic looks from one of the fashion's most influential and exciting decades from the, oh, what, what? What did you just say? 
50 iconic looks from one of the fashion's most influential and exciting decades. Yes, the 1980s. From the power dress glamour of John, Co John Collins in Dynasty to Madonna's take on street fashion via the bodycon lines of a few other people. So, um, what's going on with these people, with these folk, right? Let's check it out. Let's check it out. Who's this? Cover Queen's million dollar faces. Okay, look at this beautiful woman. Oh my god. Where have you been? Why are you in the 1980s? Teleport right now. Ah, we've got a bit of uh, dojo, got a bit of wham, got a bit of Jean Paul Gaultier, Catherine Hamnet. Yeah, yeah, we've got Sade, we've got Terry Mugler. Okay. But the Brad Pack, let's not forget those crazy guys. Okay, social consequences. What happens, bruh, if you just don't put in? Well, you get put in books years later. That's pretty much the truth of these videos that I do. Even though I might not be put in, I'll always stand out. Carl Lagerfeld, eh? At you know. Um. Let's have a look who is the first person in this book. Okay, pretty interesting for the 1980s. If you're a 1980s kid, it's a bit of a smash up before the introduction page. You're gonna enjoy it. Dallas and Dynasty. Oh my word! They were knowingly under accessorized. Dun, 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 dun. Yep, yep, yep. Grew up with that stuff. So let's just see. Ralph Lauren. Oh, look at this guy. Hey, classic. Classic. I want you to just take this fabric and I want you to add the searches on it and it's going to be beautiful, beautiful, darling. Just walk down the aisle and don't worry about it. That's, uh, just don't worry about it. 50 fashion looks that changed in the 1980s. Ah, this book is pretty amazing. I thought I'll give it a bit of an introduction. Symbols. Universe language from coats of arms to emoticons this fascinating book tells the extraordinary stories beyond the world's most famous symbols including how an insurance company accidentally invented a psychedelic smiley how an ancient indian cross whose name means well-being became the nazi swat sticker how an unknown american athlete gave his name to the octofriot aka hashtag what? I didn't even read this when I bought this book. I just saw symbols. I opened it up. I opened up to the page where I saw pie. Uh, and I said, man, I need to get this book. So, you know, shout out to Yeshua. He's in here. Uh, who else is? Ah, road traffic signs. Take me to the triangle. Take me to the triangle. Take me to the triangle. The Rosetta Stone. The heart. Okay? The cave art. Take me back to the cave art. And many people were like so fascinated by social media and Facebook. All we're doing is just circulating the time on this roller coaster over and over till this whole fucking thing tips over. All right. So you have something called where you write on your wall. Of course you do. It's called a Facebook page. It first started where you want to write something interesting on a wall. Well, this is something that is just continually increasing that. So keep in mind that's a hashtag right there. Do, 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 do. See if you can't write copyright. I don't copyright this video because that symbol taught me to share everything. Okay, symbol of uh, the cross pretty much means peace. Um, same with symbol of Judaism, um, Soviet Union, the pie, uh, the Bluetooth, <laughs> uh, the power button. All of it's here. Uh, the yin, the yang. Every symbol on earth is meant for us to understand that we are transcending and continuing a certain message. Now we have to determine the type of message that we need to keep passing on. Being on the days of the internet, yes, darkness is important and war, all those type of things always happen, of course, yes, but in order till all mankind is connected and educated and there are new institutions of scholars out there educating people, yes, there'll always be accounts of people with millions of followers talking continued rubbish, but we always got to advocate that we have mass brand ambassadors. People that are truly advocating the Karl Lagerfelds of today, okay? But in everything, in wisdom, in knowledge, and understanding, all that we share. So, symbols, a universal language, this is a bit of an insight. Uh, 
quite interesting to see the hashtag was included as a symbol of understanding. Uh, let's pretty much see if we can find that page. Not very much long it is, but let's give it a quick one page read, okay? It is not uncommon for the meaning of common symbols to evolve within a number of different contexts, but a few of them have had such a variety of usages as the hashtag. The historical origins of the symbol are both obscure and contradictory, further clouded by confusion concerning its official name. There are a variety of terms used to denote it, the most common being pound sign, number sign, Libra, octafort, and hash sign, or thanks, largely to Twitter, hashtag. In addition to multiple variations relating to computer programming, prior to rapid advances in telecommunications and computer technology, the sign was generally used to denote quantities of units of weight, hence pound. So three pounds of apples, two pounds of tomatoes. In the US newspapers, the results of horse races were often printed using the hashtag symbol to denote the order of running. So number one, sea biscuit, number two, war emblem, and so on. The Oxford English Dictionary ascribes the early use of the term pound sign to temporary writing manuals popular in the 1920s. Although its origins remain unclear, one possible explanation is that it is a shorthand symbol for the more formal abbreviation for pound, LB. This may account for the symbol hashtag, sometimes being called the Libra, for which LB is a standard abbreviation from Latin for the Roman unit of weight. The decline of the usage of the hashtag to denote weight on numerical order coincided with the creation of the touchtone telephone in the late 1960s. Oh, oh, did you know that? Did you know? It was at this point that the symbol was renamed the Octrofort. I need to pronounce it that properly. Excuse me, everyone. By Bell Laboratories execution named Don McPherson. Now, if your name is Don McPherson, all right, from Bell Laboratories, you're still alive, and you changed the way we saw the hashtag. Cheers, bro. Cheers. Oh, we're training clinic staff in Minnesota. From, I'm from Minnesota, he, to use a new telephone exchange system that relayed on innovative push button commands, including the number sign hashtag. McPherson decided he needed a name for the symbol to include in his training sessions and came up with the name Octofort. So it's O C T O T H. O R P E. If you can pronounce this name correctly, please let me know. The addition of Thorpe as a suffix is thought to be something of an in joke. I'm with Pearson. Ha ha ha. Now look who's laughing with the hashtag South Africa. That's the end of that book. So symbols will always continue. Maybe continue to share the messages of things passed on. This book will probably end up on a shelf looking like this because this will probably wear off in 100 years. But uh, videos will always be in the cloud. There is no within when artificial intelligence translates our information. As long as the information that artificial intelligence shares in the future days are not going to be detrimental. So they can pretty much alter this original video that's out there, change the way it's actually said, and you could not even be listening to myself. That is why these original videos need to be installed. We are the digital elders of today. We are the new symbols of today. So may you understand that and understand where we're going to in the technological revolution and age that we are in. Again, it's content for hashtag South Africa here in South Africa. The time now is 12.20. Oh my goodness, Jesus Christ. Uh, it's uh, after midnight. Things are gonna go wee. Not really, we're just gonna continue. So most importantly, I have my own books. I've been writing them since I was 12 years old. I have all of them in my archives and translated later on. Everything now you see are my videos. How can my books be ready if no one really knows who I am? Correction. Thank you. Shout out to YouTube for uh, giving me this opportunity to have live stream, right? Where were we 20 years ago, people? Where were we 25 years ago? No? So the next book I'll give you is the Handbook of Personal Wealth Management. So of course, of course, the office people need to understand how to manage their money, okay? If you just get all excited, like, oh, we gave all the money away to the church. No. 
Okay, so let's read what this book includes. It includes chapters on investment return parameters, balancing risk in financial investment, hmm. investing in commodities, now I'm saying, I'm saying, agricultural property investment, surviving a high tax regime, tax structuring, venture capital trust, equity investment schemes, first class returns from rare stamps, fine wine investment, racehorse ownership and bloodstock investment. Putra madre. Investing in diamonds and precious metals, how to invest in art and antiques. You see all those books? Do you know what I'm doing? Do you understand? There we go. Antiques and art. Renewable energy and carbon credits and philanthropy and charitable giving. Of course, of course, I endorse that. Not to institutions. Being part of a connected planet and the understanding that we have right now with the internet, we need to know that every wealth should not just be given to a select few or select few institutions or big buildings anymore. We are people that are still having starvation. We have not resolved all the problems that need to be resolved with all the wealth that we have right now, the year 2016, before we get to the year 2020 and beyond, before we transcend to 2030 to Mars. There are many things that we need to do. So all of you, I hope you understand to manage your money correctly we will try and establish things in the future for investment where you can partake with us at hashtag south africa but go and research yourself go right now on youtube now don't go watch those hey kids i've done this for five days and i've been on a holiday no no go and learn from the people that once did great things okay learn see what's going on look at what the systems are look what the economy is currently marketed and moving look at how you can tie yourself up correctly and ensure that your family is always taken care of most importantly most importantly, so the Handbook of Personal Wealth Management, now fully updated for its eighth edition, geez, eight edition. So number one, they're gonna say no. Number two, they're gonna say like no. Three, no. Four, five, six, seven, eight, no. This is probably a university little book. Let us know in the comments below if you've ever done this at university or if you have any recommendations. Besides that, share that information so that we all may be successful together. Connected planets, all about three. Together as one, one, two, three, together. This book was 222 Rand, but I actually got it for 35 bucks. That's what I'm saying. I've got what are over 50 books, uh, and I'm sharing you a review on every single one of these books with inside talks about technology. It might take me a whole night, but you know what? The information of technology needs to be shared, and I, as the founder and CEO of Hashtag South Africa, has to carry this torch. I have to fly this as an Olympian and get this out there and shared. So this book was pretty much sealed, so let's pretty much open it up. Okay. So this book is called The Kind of Magic, The Political Marketing of the ANC. The ANC stands for the African National Congress of South Africa, the ruling party, national ruling party, but that has changed at local government level. But this is a highly original and intriguing study of how the ANC has marketed itself and developed a distinctive brand over many decades. So there have been a lot of brands like Democrats and Republicans around the world, the Soviet Union, individuals, Gandhi, Jesus Christ. Uh, let's see, read the synopsis because this looks pretty interesting. I. Um, I follow this movement, but then again, I am an individual. I am a man of this earth, and no country is my keeper, only that of God. The story begins in 1955 with adoption of the Freedom Charter, which became the platform on which the ANC subsequently constructed its image and its appeal. It was in exile after its banning in the 1960s, where the ANC took political marketing seriously. There is fascinating evidence of how the ANC's development Department of Information and Publici Publicity tailored its message to audiences inside the country and internationally, and how it's launched Mandela as a global icon, recognizing that it is human's interest that sells politics. So, Mandela was a front man for this political movement. The kind of magic, magic challenges us to rethink really that we know about the ANC, its past, present, and future place in South Africa's political life. 
So it's been kind of, you know, things are changing in South Africa quite a lot. Uh, maybe this is just the truth. Uh, I believe the truth. I believe in darkness that is everywhere. But I also believe that governments and systems can work. But then again, uh, now when I look at the picture of just Mandela all these kids, I remember this as a kid. But this was just a brand concept. Something to think about, all right? Be your own judge. Put down that flag and the tender that you try to got in your side pocket and just uh, think for a second. Uh, my constitution makes me a free citizen in South Africa. Martin Yang's China. Now again, food. We bring you this political break to talk to you about food. Com companion volume to the public television series. Okay, this is a TV show. Probably would see you on the TV. You got a book? This guy's chilling on a little waterfall and stuff here. And just chilling. Hey, the brother's prayer is probably for him because he was on TV. Uh, yep, if you guys ever have a parade, parade and you need a main feature, just give me a mic, put me up there, I'll sing. Glossary of ingredients, wow, so this is pretty cool. So you wanna have a, probably a stack of ingredients in your house. So that's the other thing with technology, guys. Look at all the basic necessities you would need for food. For example, all the basic things you need to be re flourished. Soon there are applications which are already out, refrigerators that will be able to tell you that your food will be expiring in a certain period of time. You need to maybe order this. Here's your integrated report on your microwave. All these type of things are evolving. So, you know, your senses, your understanding, what you think might have been your favorite dish growing up is could have been the death of you older on. So, preserved duck with clay pot rice. Okay, look at this guy. There's clearly a lot of people that's having duck tonight. <laughs> this is another book of interesting points. In between all these reviews, I'm just gonna be throwing technology bits. Go back, rewind, forward, play. We'll chop these up when we get a chance to, but listen to this live stream. Keep going, guys. Keep going. Okay. All of my finishes be friends. 12.29. It's almost half past of something. Ah. Now, when I saw this book, it didn't really mean much. But when I saw that, and that, that got me more of an attention. So this book is called The Triumph of Painting. Clearly all these people were part of that whole thing, but I understand this gallery that Saatchi put together. And it's a genius. Of course the first cover page is blank, okay? Of course the next page is also blank. Of course the other page is also blank. So it goes into not being remembered at all. This has, in the end, been the fate of the subject of most photographers. Okay? Okay? Not being remembered at all. This has been, in the end, been the fate of the subject of most photographers. The transcendence of video and technology has given us an opportunity now to record so that we are not forgotten and we are not left to the fate of those photographers. So, I love art. My favorite subject in school. I'm just gonna let you decide, look to see what this is about. This is very interesting. This book deserves to be at least shared with the world. Art needs to be seen. Art needs to be remembered. These are just moments of our history, of our time, the contemporary art of our existence right now.
Oh, this is freaky. This is cool. Hey, who do we have there? Thomas. Thank you, Thomas. Darton Thomas. You word actually came through here. Back, of course, we have a special collection. The Saatchi Gallery. Yeah, I can't read it backwards as yet. Leonardo da Vinci, yeah, he wrote backwards. Saatchi Gallery Survive of Contemporary Painting featured many iconic works by key artists such as Klippinger, Dumas, Duong, as well as emerging international artists, including essays. 368 pages in hardback, 205 color palettes. Um, it's supposed to be to buy it. This book was uh, 130 rand, but it's worth 35 rand. So next we have a bit of a break. Next we go into the business aspect. But I wanted to jump and show you this book about lettering. We'll get to that in a second. Let's talk to all our essential business people in the world. This is South Africa. So we will show you about South Africa. Who owns whom essential business information since 1980? That's right. Listed and unlisted companies in Africa 2015. So this book was priced at... 345 brand, we got about 35 brand. Oh my god, it's okay. not even a year old. These people could still be in positions or probably not even died, you know, which means uh, it can be made use of. So, what do these people have to say? Dun, 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 dun. So, let's open up to a random page. It shows you all the stock related prices, uh, what their dividends have been. Also, the names of the CEOs and who all these companies are uh, very interesting. And I've got something called the Directory of Directors. That's right, guys. From Hashtag South Africa, we are going to be calling Hugh from this book. Um, these leads. You have to find, I had to find a way of, of generating leads. So not everyone right now is connected onto the global grid or easy accessible to find of information. So if I pretty much put on my VR gear, you are in five kilometer radius of this business or you are now approaching this place, we have not organically set technology to the state that it needs to be upon. Uh, that is why the metros are so important uh, across all the world because we are the pioneers of things like this in South Africa. That's right. That's right. You've heard of SKA. You've heard of SKA. Now it's already officially launched. Square kilometer array, 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 array. So we will look forward to expanding on that book very soon. Very interesting. Okay, next up we have lettering, a reference manual of techniques. This book was published by Andrew Haslam. Andrew Haslam, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Letter cutting in wood, all those type of things. Uh, it's the ancients wrote on stones, right? Okay? They publish books and little captions of how it should be processed and remembered. Uh, these were the early designers. These were the people that pioneered for us to do what we have today. Uh, and you get all, all, all except for 30 second, 12 second video. You forget what we've inherited, right? Ah, uh, the old fashioned eye test. So, letter cutting in wood. Now it's all about laser cutting, glass cutting. Cutting different uh, material. This is quite a cool aluminium little frame. Now that we have augmented reality, now that we have uh, glass technology, now that the information is going to be shared more effectively, we need to ensure that when we have designable boards, that we do not just create something boring on a basic white text, uh, but we got to ensure that people can understand the message in a more fun way. So this would be a good research book for my designers uh, when I have my strategy sit down meetings with them. We're going to be scribbling. We're going to be fucking scribbling everywhere because you'll end up with great brands like that at the end. Look at that. Esquire magazine. Uh, shout outs to uh, Conrad in 2020. I'm sure you probably had an Esquire man of the year before then. But anyways, who needs a body when you have a nose, right? Oh, I'm looking forward to it. Wow. A culinary journey from China to Vietnam. Look at that. Look at that. Okay. Greater. So, this kind of adventure that explores Asia's most famous rivers started in southwest China 
and journeying through Mama, Northern Thailand, Laos, Cambodia, before meandering down to the vast Mekong Delta in Vietnam. Luke impresses himself in the culture and the communities who depend upon this life-giving river. Look at that. People are living every day, waking up. Nine to five, we're rushing. They're chilling. Not really chilling, they're probably working. They probably wish that they were in the city. But what we need to do now as a technological ambassadors, we can start to fund these ventures that we send these scouts out in teams as ambassadors, represented from each country. And we send them to whatever remote location with cameras, with sound, with everything that they may have so that they can share what they learn uh, with video, with content. Let's capture the essence, okay? Let's go visit those great wizards and all those interesting people right now, wherever they may be. Get them to document their recording because there will come a time where these messages will be needed. So let us start with all these elders. Let us get these recordings done. That is why before my grandfather passed away, I recorded his last message. Uh, not too far away time before uh, he died so you know that's my personal life besides that uh, a lot of great people's messages were heard we remembered we have bible we've got we heard of a gandhi we heard of mother Teresa. there's diana there's you know vincent van gogh leonardo da vinci all these people try to pioneer but what happens to all those who are under them those juniors yes they never really made it up to that point of understanding but everyone today can record everyone today can have be a part of it Okay, everyone's video is needed, everyone, 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 because we still haven't done the full completed analytics and study of the whole planet connected to one sharing messages of content. Wow, you understand what I'm saying? This forensic game is going to be flipping the script for the next few 10, 20 years, 25 years of the internet? Come on, man. If I had another 25 years, I'll still be living. So, this is pretty cool. Look at this, look at this, eh? just out there experiencing things. I'm like, okay, wow. Just be a part of it. Be a part of it. Be a part of it. Um, so, yeah, check out this book, Food, Essential Part of Life. Give it a try. Give it a gander. Give it an expansion. We've come to the last book of the 17 book series. This has been pretty amazing stuff. 17 books. I never thought I was going to do it for so long or oh, such a quick amount of time. But I hope you are. I hope you are. Hope you are inspired. Inspired. Hope you are. Hope you are inspired. Book number 17. I was born on the 17th of August, 1986. So I didn't even plan to have 17 books in that first box. So fate just happened. <coughs> this is true. Mm. What is amazing? That is the next uh, frontier, my people. Beyond the oil, it is the water. We'll get to the books on oil a bit later, but remember the water. So, this book is called Where Chefs Eat. I first saw this a while ago. Um, forget the restaurant's guide. This is a guide by chefs. This is where chefs want to eat. Okay, this is all around the world. Okay, if you had to name a place, let's say, let's say, oh, ooh, Europe, France, and Monaco, Paris. There's a place called Toyo. There's a contact details, operating hours, reservation policy, if you take credit cards, style of cuisine. So let's have a look. Let's have a look what they say about South Africa. Oh, wow. Now look at all this book, okay? Now, this must be an understanding to show you what Africa is about, okay? So we have at the top there uh, Oceanics, all right? Asia, next column at the top, we have Europe. Look how much of Europe is there. Then the following on the right, we have North America and then South America. And all the way at the bottom, with one caption, it says Cape Verde, Morocco, and South Africa. That's correct, South Africa. Hashtag South Africa. So page 444, okay? We'll talk about numbers a bit later, but I'm sure you can go and find that out. Zion is the final frontier on this technological revolution, and Zion will prosper. We are just the descendants that have been given this opportunity to share the message. Uh, I find that everything that I share and do is, I say as a gift, I have to translate and share the content because, um, because I don't know, South Africa, it's a traditional place. Okay? It's a traditional South African place. Cool. Let's see what they have to offer for South Africa. 
I'll tell you if it's a traditional or not, okay? Because I, I know places. So, no McDonald's? You got no McDonald's up here, boy? Ah, Sunrise Chip and Ranch Derby. Now, this little view in right here just received a review on CNN's uh, top food reviews. I shit you not. 89 Sparks Road, Asheville, Durban, 467 South Africa. Re recommended by Peter Templehoff. Okay, just like Peter Templehoff is a bit of a food man. But uh, shout out to that uh, from the Indian dynasty, most importantly. So I am Indian by descent. People might not understand, and but uh, might speak. You will speak a very different on the TV, but then you will not look at in the face. What is wrong with you? So I understand that. Uh, yeah, post Africa, been around the world, you know, yeah, yeah. So this book looks pretty cool. Where Chefs Eat. This is definitely something I'm going to try and keep with me and make reference of. But mobile applications are changing the way we communicate in, how we see the world, how we perceive, how we connect one another again. Things like this will probably be transferred into applications, or most probably are. But yet not everyone around the world is connected to make use of it. So we have reviews, we have blogs. Our work is still not yet done. The technological revolution is changing. It is expanding. These are just the insightful words that I can give to you as a CEO of Hashtag South Africa. I don't know this book, but I think it's a cool concept. Uh, I will definitely give it a try. On sale for 20 pounds. 20 pounds, bought it for 33 rand. So work that out. Not even three pounds, cheaper than that. So we've come to the end of uh, 17 videos videos 17 videos i hope you enjoyed it thank you so much uh for no one watching this live stream video uh but it's okay it's quarter to one in the morning in south africa it's a friday it's a friday it's a friday oh you know what that means if it's a friday it's a friday i can't wait for the weekend to begin mm. Mm, mm, I can't wait for the. That's right, that's right, that's right. Coming to you live. That's been the end of video 17. I hope you enjoyed it, guys. Please, YouTube channel, subscribe to this video. It's been fun, it's been cool. I'm Conrad for hashtag South Africa. Peace.